Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on further integration. And in this tutorial, we shall talk about integration of exponentials and scalars with variable powers. So now we shall start with integration of exponentials. And case one is by using the method of changing the variable. So this method of change is used for integrating exponentials whose coefficient is the derivative of the power of the exponential. So such integrals are in the form integral of f prime x multiplied by exponential of f x. Integrals of exponentials in this form are integrated using the method of changing the variable. How do we do it? So remember E is the sign symbol for exponential and this method is used by letting u be equal to this power on the exponential which is fx. So in this case we shall remember use the change of variable u being equal to fx. But you have to remember that integral of x e raised to the power u with respect to u is equal to e raised to the power u. So this the integral of this is that. So always remember that it will help us much. So first of all you have to we want to first prove how come that this integral of e u is equal to e u it doesn't change at all. So let's see how it can be how it comes about. So you already know that derivative of exponent of e to power u is equal to e to power u. Therefore, what we do we shall put integrals on both sides to come up with this expression. But remember, integration is the reverse of differentiation. So this can cancel to remain with e raised to the power u alone. So in this case, we shall get e to power u being equal to the integral of e to power u with respect to u. Therefore, every integral of e to power u can just rearrange to come up with the integral of e to power u with respect to u being equal to e to power u plus the constant of integration as required. I think we have got the proof of this expression. Now that we know the proof, we shall try the solution to these problems. So problem 1 says, find the integral of e raised to the power 5x. So in this case, we shall first let u to be equal to the power which is 5x. And therefore, when I differentiate 5x, I'll come up with 5. And when I make dx the subject, I'll come up with my dx being equal to 1 over 5 du and with that I'll now substitute now 5x is equal to u so I'll come and substitute where there is 5x I'll put there u so now when I simplify this I'll come up with remember 1 over 5 is the constant so I'll put it out I remain with e to power u which is this and du which is that but remember the integral of e to power u with respect to u is equal to e to power u plus c so I'll come here and say, therefore this, exp this expression will give me 1 over 5 which is here. Then the integral of this is e to power u which is this plus c. But remember we are the ones who introduced in the u. So we have to again eliminate it by remembering that u is equal to 5x. So where there is u, I put there 5x. Come up with my integral of e to power 5x with respect to x being equal to 1 over 5 e to power 5x plus the constant of integration. Now shall I go to problem 2. Problem 2 say that find the integral of 2 sorry x squared multiplied by e to power x cubed with respect to x. So in this case, I'll first let the power to be equal to u. So therefore, u will be equal to x cubed. 
and when I differentiate, I'll come up with du dx being equal to 3x squared. And when I make dx the subject, I'll come up with dx being equal to 1 over 3x squared du. Now, next is to substitute. dx is equal to 1 over 3x squared du, so I'll come and substitute for dx. And also substitute for the power x cubed, which is that. Now, we shall first leave this one unchanged because even in dx, there is also x. So I first leave it so that the, at the end they cancel. Then you can see x squared and this x squared can cancel. So in the end I remain with here 1 over 3 which is this. And this other remain with e to power u which is that. And this du will be here. Then I remember the integral of e to power u is the same as e to power u. So I'll, in the end I'll come up with 1 over 3 which is this. Multiplied by e to power u which is the integral for this plus the constant of integration but remember we are the ones who introduced in the u so i have to again eliminate the u by remembering that u is equal to x cubed therefore where there is u i'll put their x cubed to come up with this expression as the value of the required integral So now we shall go to case 2 whereby we need to use the method of integration by parts. So this method is used for integrating exponentials whose coefficient is not the derivative of the power on the exponential. So not that one. If the, deri if the coefficient is the derivative, we use the method of changing the variable. But in cases where the coefficient is not the derivative of the power on the exponential we use the method of integration by parts and i believe by now you know that method because that was the previous lesson so such integrals are in the form integral of gx e to power fx with respect to x so in this case we use u being equal to gx and dv dx will be equal to exponential of f to power x so in this such integrals this one is u and this one is dv dx so we shall use that knowledge to go through the solution to problem 3 problem 3 says find the integral of x e to power x with respect to x so in this case i'll first let u be to be equal to this x and this one to be equal to dv dx now when i differentiate x i'll come up with one and when i integrate ex i'll come up with e x next i have to code the formula for integration by parts and then substitute so u dv dx will be equal to the given integral which is that then equal to uv so i'll have to look for u and multiply it with v to come up with this expression of ex x ex minus the integral v du dx i have to look for v and multiply it by du dx to come up with this expression but when i integrate ex i'll come up with ex which is that so in the end i'll come up with the integral of x ex with respect with respect to x being equal to x ex minus ex plus C. So now we shall go to the alternative method. I think when you realize this integral, the one function which is not a polynomial e is ex and can easily be integrated. And I remember we said if the function which is not a polynomial can easily be integrated, then you can also use this alternative method of drawing a table. So the table consists of three columns, the sign, the diff part of differentiation, and the part of integration. For the part of sign, you begin with positive, negative, positive, and so on. Where to stop depends on the column of differentiation. So in this case, we have x first, which is this. When I differentiate x, I come up with 1. And when I differentiate 1, I come up with 0. So now that I've got 0, it means this is where I should stop. Now for the part of integration, when I integrate ex, I'll come up with ex, 
I'm now again integrate this e x. I'll come up with e x. So next is to use the table. How do is how is it used? You say this is you begin from you follow this arrow. So I'll begin with positive times x to get positive x, which is this. Then multiplied by e x, which is that. Then minus this is negative one, which is this negative one, multiplied by e x, which is that. So in the end, I'll come up with e x x e x minus e x plus c, which is the required integral. I think we answer that the same as the one got in the previous method. So now we shall go to integration of scalars with variable powers. So such integrals are in the form integral of a f raised to the power f x with respect to x. And in this case, a is just any constant number. Constant number can mean two or three or four or five or any number as long as it's a constant number. But this time with a power which is variable. I think as you can see, it is f x. So in such integrals, we use the method of change of variable, but this time we let u be equal to the power on that constant number. So u will be equal to fx, but also remember that the integral of a raised to the power u with respect to u is equal to au over lin a plus c. So we shall first look at the proof as to why the integral of a to power u du is equal to a to power u over lin a plus c. So first of all, we have to let another variable say y being equal to a to power u. And when you put lin on both sides, we shall come up with lin y being equal to lin a to power u. But this u can come down to give you lin y being equal to u lin a. And when I differentiate both, both sides with respect to u, I'll come up with this side should be 1 over y times dy du and this side, remember lin a is a constant so the derivative will now be just lin a. So when I bring this y this side, I'll come up with dy da, du being equal to y lin a. And when I cross multiply and, and collect like terms, I'll come up with dy being equal to au lin a du. Now where is this au coming from? Au is coming from here. Remember y is equal to au. So that means that dy will be equal to au lin a du. Now from there I'll put integrals on both sides to come up with this. But remember lin a is a constant and therefore can come out to give you y. So when I integrate 1 with respect to y, I'll come up with y. And this side, I pull out the constant, remain inside, it will become a to power u du. So when I bring this constant, this side, it will come up with one of y over lin a being equal to integral of a u du. But remember y is equal to a to power u. So I'll come up with the integral of a to power u du being equal to a to power u over lin u plus c as required. So now we shall go to problem 4. Problem 4 says that find the integral of 5 raised the power square root of 2x minus 1 with respect to x. So first of all you have to let this power be equal to variable u. And after that, we should remember this is a square root. So the, is the easier way to differentiate will be to first square both sides to come up with u squared being equal to 2x minus 1. And when I differentiate u squared, I'll come up with 2u with respect to x. I'll come up with, come up with 2u du dx. And this side, when I differentiate with respect to x, I'll come up with 2. And when I make dx the subject, I'll come up with dx being equal to u du. So now I'm going to substitute. Remember square root of 2x minus 1 was equal to u. So I'll come and put here u. And dx is equal to u du. So I'll come and substitute for dx. 
but remember integral of h power u du is equal to au divided by lin a plus c and this one i think i realized that this is a, fa a product of two functions one is a polynomial another one is not a polynomial there are and this one which is not a polynomial can easily be integrated using this expression therefore that means that we can use the table to get the integral and the table involves three columns sign differentiation and integration for the sign you start with positive go to negative again back to positive if it was continued it would have been, the next would have been a negative now well, this u will be here under the column of differentiation and when i differentiate u i'll come up with one when i differentiate one i'll come up with zero meaning this is where i stop then for the part of integration when i integrate five to power u i'll compare it with this if i compare it with this my a is five therefore the integral will be five to power u over lin five and when i integrate five to power u over lin five again i'll come up with five to power u over lin five squared then uh, from there now use the table to get the integral i'll follow these arrows and i will say positive u which is this times 5 to power u over lin 5 which is this then minus 1 which is this multiplied by 5 to power u over lin 5 squared which is that plus the constant of integration so now next is to simplify I think you realize that 5 to power u is common in both and lint 5 squared can be the LCM so when I pull them out for this part I remain with u lint 5 and this part I remain with 1 but remember we are the ones who introduced in u so we have to eliminate it again so when I eliminate u my u is equal to square root of 2x minus 1 so substitute for u and we'll come up with this integral which is required so it's now your turn to try the following problems so that is problem one try it out to compare answer with this That is problem two. Try it out and compare answer with this. So that is problem three. Try it out to compare answer with this. So that is problem four. Try it out compare answer with that and that is problem 5 try it out compare answer with that and that is problem 6 try it out compare answer with that so that has been our lesson for today thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.